morning. Welcome to Wales, a Welsh car park we're in at the moment. We've just parked up the van, we're just sorting out paying for our parking. Um, yeah, me and Stephen have just come away to Wales for the weekend. We are right now about to go into Conway Castle. This is nice. We're trying to find, the castle is just up there, but before we head in, trying to find like the town of Conway so we can get some lunch because it's about 12 o'clock and neither of us have had breakfast so we're a little bit hungry before we head in we want some food but we can't really figure out where to go castle this way this is I don't think this is right we think maybe we found town lost the way check out this police station at the end of all these roads, it's just, I'm assuming that's part of the castle. All the roads are closed as well. I don't know whether that's because the castle is <laughs> collapsing or unstable or whatever, but we're not having much luck finding something to eat. It doesn't seem really to be anything. I have to say though, it is an adorable little town. We found somewhere. We've got some sandwiches perched on a wall. Toad of the nation, I think. We're trying to find the entrance. We can't figure out how to get in. I think Stephen's figured it out. Conway Castle and Town Walls took four years to build. Cost £15,000. What if I a million today, yeah? We're in. It was, I can't remember, £16.80 for the two of us, an adult and a child. Well, that's where we just were down there. We love a good castle. And Stephen just talking like imagine trying to scale the walls of this. I think what I was saying before, the edge of the road, like the city walls, I'm assuming. These are the city walls. But it's a pretty impressive bloody castle to be honest. Oh, I'm not good with heights. That oh gives me a funny belly feeling. Freaks me out. Look at this guy. Welsh brains outwit the English brawn. Do they now? <laughs> Should we go up here? Let's see what's up here. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, look. It's a tower. Is it? Whoa. Is it horrible? Oh, I'm scared. Oh, hang on, let me put my phone away. Oh! I don't like it, so... Really? Oh! No, I don't like it. I can't cope. Oh! You being here makes it worse for me. Yeah, I know, I'm terrible, I'm so sorry. Oh! Going down. It's what? It's massive. Oh, whoa. Oh whoa, I wasn't expecting it to be like this at all. I thought it was going to be a little room. Look how thick these walls are. Like eight foot or something. Oh, I thought this was going to be a staircase that we could get up. <laughs> oh, this is the cellar. <gasps> this place is doing nothing for my... Oh, this is hard for me to do my height problem. Look how deep that well is. They were impressed. Stephen's in the bakehouse oven. <laughs> I can hear like pigeons, it's not bothering me. <laughs> Stephen's on and up. Oh, look at that. The beach. A boat. A boat. Oh, wow. Oh, you can walk along the suspension bridge. It is amazing up here, but oh, it's really scary for me. Stephen is going up the last little bit of this tower. 
I can't do it. I just really can't. We are up a tower, but I'm <laughs> sat on the floor. <sighs> Petrified. He's just looked over. He made it. I hate this about myself, but I'm literally like shaking and I can't do it. I really wanted to get up to the top, but I can't. Like it makes me feel like, oh no. I don't know how I'm gonna get down. <laughs> How was it? Oh, my knee. Oh. Oh. Was it good? I was just, I kept, I saw you, yeah. I kept thinking I'm going to try and I thought, I just can't. It like, I just can't. Was it scary or was it not, did it not scare you at all, really? No. I'm glad you're not scared. Oh, down we go. Oh, bless you. Back on ground level. I feel so much better. I was so disappointed in myself that I couldn't make it up, but hey, it's just one of those things. At least Stephen made it. I don't know if you can see that, but out of wire there, or some sort of like, like copper piping or something, is a king. Oh, it's the king's chambers, that's like That's the tower that Stephen's just been up. I made it to there. I'm still like shaking from it. Stephen made it to there. Yeah, I've been there. It's the castle. Whoa, like, look at the little towers that you just went up. Yeah. These steps here used to lead to a dock. It's just a dead end now. Now we're going to walk the walls. You are here. I wonder how far around it is. It's uh, 1.3 kilometres as a circuit. Look, car park's there, that little white spot is the van. These are pretty much some of the best preserved city walls that exist. No. No? That's not a fat cat, no. It's the royal chambers that are the best preserved. Oh. Anyone maybe else? maybe Stephen has made me just tell you a completely false fact. I'll check. <laughs> I've checked. Stephen wasn't lying. These walls are one of the finest and most complete sets in Europe. It's got 21 towers and three gateways. Getting a bit of a sweat on here. It's a pretty steep uphill wall, this. We're getting above the houses. I don't think I've ever seen a chimney so close up. Whew. And still it goes on. Oh, this is again no good for my whole height situation, but wow. this crack in one of the towers. As it turns out, I don't think you can actually do a full loop, I think it ends here. Can't walk the rest of the way. I think that's it. See that red? After this, we're going to go down. That little red building there is the smallest house. I'm not sure where. Smallest house in the UK? World? Again, I'll get back to you. I'm not sure. We're right on the end. End of what? What would you call this? Wall. The end of the wall. Yeah, because it kind of it does do a circle, but you can't continue on the, on the thing you can see there so it obviously does continue from that tower but it's blocked off you can't walk that way this is the little bit that sticks out into the sea there did used to be a tower on the end here but it just ends these days there's the answer it's the smallest house in Great Britain Unfortunately, it's closed this time of year, so we can't go in. Closed until spring 22. 
I had a lot of hours ago and it's such a shame. And we are back at the van, we're leaving Conway. Lovely little place, lovely little town, amazing castle. Before we head over to the hotel that we're staying in tonight, we are gonna do, it's, it's in the opposite direction to the hotel, but there's a road called, sit, say it. Sicknant. we think. I'll put it on the screen, Sicknant Pass. Apparently it's kind of like this amazing road, amazing views or something, so we're gonna have a little, little go over there before it gets dark. Right, let's go and check in. We're staying at St George's Hotel. Stephen knows where he's going, maybe. Oh, did it say on the top? In we come. Oh, it's warm in here. We stayed in a hotel because, well, I'd, I'd contemplated like just staying in the van. To be honest, I'm glad we're not staying in the van, but um, the heating is not working in the van at the moment. And I didn't really feel it was the time of year to be sleeping in the van. We haven't like got the equipment or whatever, like, you know, in terms of like keeping warm at night. So, hotel it is. We've come for a little evening stroll along the prom. Oh yeah, the beach, I can't really see anything. I forgot to say that we, um, well I think I forgot to say anyway, that we've, we've driven sort of 15 minutes away from Conway and we're staying in that now for the evening. I think our plan is to walk along the sea, I'm not sure if it's open but to see if the pier is open. And have a little wander down there. Is that the pier? No. Uh, this looks very English pier like. I thought that said bitch. It says beach. That big white building just there is our hotel. There's like a little pub here. Go in and get a beer. We're not doing. But I guess you could. End of the pier. That land, I don't know. Good morning, following day. We had a lovely evening last night, and as you can see by the helmet, we were about to go on a little bike ride. I got up nice and early this morning and I went on a little walk, like a sunrise walk down the pier, which was, I say nice and early, the sun doesn't rise until like 20 past eight, so it wasn't that early. But um, yeah, that was lovely and we've, Filled up on some breakfast at the hotel and we're just getting organised at the van with um, with our bikes and we're going to go on a bike ride kind of up in, I don't actually know where it is, I like think the Great Orm, we're going to go up there, it's basically that, that hill there, we're going up there. We ready to go? It's a massive uphill up on the bikes and we're walking for a bit. When you're lost and no one's there And you wonder who even cares Look at this, we've gotten pretty high up and there's like a little ski, what are they called, ski slopes and then a toboggan that comes all the way down here Not 
there. Oh. Whew. Stephen just went on a little mission down the hill here. Left the bikes because he's been here with his dad quite a number of years ago. So he was going, he had like a, fit, a photo. So he was going to see if he could find the spot, but he can't. We don't really know where we're going. We keep getting lost, but <laughs> don't know. Oh, these hills are a joke. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but oh my goodness, it's steep. Oh. Let's keep secrets underground. Oh. Your hand on my chest, my heart beats for you. I keep my arms up. We've made it, we're so close to the top. The top is just a tiny little bit more up there, but oh my goodness, that has been hard work. I've fallen over in the mud. We're just at this place here called the Wall of Names, where people, I don't know how it started, but people find rocks and then write their names. If you go on like Google Earth, you can see um, everyone's names. It's pretty cool. One last push to the top. It's downhill. Whoa! There's loads of them! 